Yeah, so this idea of the delicate nurturer assumption, that nature exists in a delicate balance that's stable, sufficient, and safe, and then our impact ruins it, and we're just parasite polluters. Insofar as you believe that, you're going to believe that human impact inevitably leads to catastrophe. And this is what you see. We've had, I document in chapter two of Fossil Future, we've had four separate false predictions of fossil fuel catastrophe. And they're not only false, I had to invent a new term for how false they are. It's 180 degrees false because the exact opposite happened. So they they said we'd run out of resources, including fossil fuels. If we kept using fossil fuels, we have more resources than ever, including more available fossil fuels. They said catastrophic pollution, the earth would become unlivably dirty. Actually, you know, clean air has increased and water has gotten far better among other environmental metrics. And they said catastrophic global cooling, catastrophic global warming. And in both cases, we've become far safer from climate disaster. And so you have to think like, how can smart people say this? And why do our institutions keep privileging them? This guy, Paul Ehrlich, who's been the most wrong man of the last 55 or 60 years, he was just on 60 Minutes promoting his new book. He's treated as what I call a designated expert. And I think this delicate nurturer dogma is at the root of it. And that's really a religious belief. It's the opposite of science. Science really tells us that nature is wild potential. So it's dynamic, not stable. Yes. It's deficient, not sufficient. And it's dangerous, not safe. And human beings are producer improvers whose impact generally makes the world a better place. It's really about the core philosophy and rejecting this religious, this religious anti-human dogma. That's what it is. 